name is Tinuade from Right Living Natural Health TV. I have an interesting topic for you today, which says infertility. This topic has a lot of controversy out there between the couples. Some people are shy away from it. They don't want to discuss about it. They think the, the problem is personal. They don't want to share it. But here I come today to give you a little clue about it and what you can do about it. When we talk about infertility, infertility is inability to impregnate a woman or inability to get pregnant after unprotected sex. I mean several unprotected sex, which we can count from six months to a year. So when you notice that, that is when you can talk about infertility, that you can move closer to your doctor or your gynecologist and ask for more questions that you've been on this for about six to a year. So I want to tell us the causes this morning. The causes are number one, we have the causes for male and female, I'll mix everything together. A untreated infection or gonorrhea, which can happen in men and which can happen also in women. Likewise, low sperm count or little sperm in little sperm. When the, sperm, the quantity of semen in the sperm is very, very low, it will affect the man to get a woman pregnant. And likewise, we can talk about fallopian tube blockage. When the woman has fallopian tube blockage, the um, sperm will not be able to penetrate into the fallopian tube to germinate. And likewise, if the woman has what we call fibroid, uterine fibroid, it affects it also. So these are the causes of infertility we can talk about this money. Another one is how can you promote fertility? You know, I've talked about infertility. How can you promote fertility? By maintaining good weight. Run away from alcohol. Say no to caffeine. By doing that, you maintain healthy lifestyle that can make you to be fatter. Some people, they engage themselves in smoking, caffeine, alcohol intake. These do affect fertility of a man or woman. Likewise, I want to tell us the way out, the solution. I want to tell us this day that you can make use of cloth that you vacuum or not food. Cloth is very, very good for infertility problem. The cloth we are talking about can boost the sperm. When the sperm is low, um, it will boost the sperm. Cloth will help the menstrual cycle to be constant. Cloth, this cloth we are talking about will help you to ovulate at the right time. So you will be able to shed right egg that can fertilize. So if you make use of this between 30 and 90 days you will come with your testimony and how do you prepare this cloth you can get your cloth the quantity you want grind it into powder put it inside your kettle or your pot add like two cups or three cups of water boil it make this water your tea you can serve it with honey take it this tea can be served between the couples. The husband can take it and the wife can take it. Take it a glass in the morning with your honey and you can take it if you don't have honey. It is optional and make sure both of you will take it morning and night before going to bed. By so doing, this will correct so many problems of infertility in the body system. I hope you gain a lot this morning. So this is where I would like to drop the button. If you have not sub subscribed to the channel, you can like and press the subscription 
button. So wait till next time that will come your way. Have a wonderful day.